open the program today on a musical note as music enthusiast Tolani Otedola takes her first professional step within the Nigerian music industry. It's a homecoming showcase for Tolani Otedola, daughter of business mogul and Forbes-rated African billionaire Femi Otedola. <laughs> Like her now popular sister, Florence, popularly known as Copy, Tolani, a music graduate who has toured a good number of countries across the world for musical purposes, has chosen to work as an entertainer. Today, her proud father hosts his friends and associates to an exclusive VIP showcase as his daughter makes a conscious bid to announce her passion and artistry to the world. When the time came, Tolani, without much ado, made her first appearance into the spotlight in Nigeria and her silky, velvety voice controlled the mood from there on alongside her three-man band. I started out long ago, wanting to, but I let it go. What I knew deep inside that I had been let it show. Caught up in my fear, way too many feelings. Way too much emotion, made it hard to deal But I never stopped dreaming, and I never stopped climbing, no Said I always had a feeling, it was all about timing Said I never stopped dreaming, and I never stopped climbing, no Said I always had a feeling, it was all about timing I don't know if you're ready for me, I wonder if you're ready for me But I'm here to get what's mine, I'm about to get what's from this soulful, ready for me song, she transitioned into the Afrobeat inspired anything seamlessly in a manner that belies stage fright she later admits to. Whenever you do a stage performance, there's a little bit of pressure. You want to do a good show, you want to have a good time, you want to make sure that the audience gets you. So there's that bit of pressure, but I think once I get on stage, I'm just doing what I do. So I just try and have fun and, you know, so there's pressure at the start, but once, once the floor, once I'm in, I'm in. She rendered a cover of Amy Winehouse's You Know I'm No Good, as she later shared that her interest in music had been from a tender age. I told you. I've been, I am a musical being. I was born, as, as from as early as I can remember, music has been a part of my life. School choirs, church choirs, school talent shows, you know, so any of that that ever came up, I would be in. So I've loved music from a young age. I've, I wanted to do it as a career always, but you know, I, I also wanted to be responsible and have a backup plan, like they say. So school, university, all of that, always with music on the side. But once I was done with uni, I was like, right, let's go. Let me show you, I take the lead control you. 
Her other siblings, Temi and Kapi, at varying degrees, have already gained prominence within the creative circle. Temi, a fashion enthusiast and blogger, was on ground to support her older sister. I'm so proud. It's amazing to see her go from rehearsals to recording the music to finally see any live performance. I'm so happy for her. Because we're three sisters, it's more collaboration than anything else because we're all doing different things. We have Ola Otolani who's singing, we have Ife who's a DJ, and then me who's in fashion. So luckily it's different fields, but that also means that we can work on things together. My family, we have ants in our pants when it comes to creativity. We're just, we're all really creative and we, we like to express ourselves. I don't know if it's genetic or just because we experienced that growing up, you know. My, my parents were quite, I, I rem memories of, of music being in the house when I was young is a standard one. So I don't know whether it's nature or nurture, but we're all really, really creative and it's nice. It's nice to have all your family be incredibly supportive and to understand as well. So when we're all working hard, we're like, ah, girl, go, because I know what it's like. So yeah, it's nice, really nice. Her will be official radio debut features former Empire Mates Entertainment singer Scales. Nigerian pop music soundscape puts a lot of emphasis on showmanship and dance rather than singing abilities. Talani, however, believes she's connected enough to her roots to soar. Um, I don't think that the two can't coexist. I think that you can make a vibey song while having strong vocal ability. So I, can, I will continue to practice my craft. So when I was in music school, they, one of the major things I left with was that your voice, because it wasn't just a singing school, it was a guitar, it was an instrument school. So from guitarists to drummers, you've seen my band, they're all very good at what they do. So I was taught that my voice is my own instrument. So you can't just neglect the voice in just for vibe, you know what I mean? So I think that I think that Nigeria is, is getting there. I know there are a lot of very strong vocalists in the Nigerian music market, so I think that I can do both. Also in the crowd is Nollywood actor and state performer Wally Ojo, who appears to be really impressed. I think, I think she was very relaxed. She wasn't nervous at all, you know. A lot of big guns in the audience. She took it in her stride and you can hear that the music was well produced. So she, le she leaned on the music, which is good, and her voice carried it. You know, there were no gimmicks, just her on the stage, three other musicians. It's what live music is all about. I think the future is very good. I think uh, uh, her market is here and outside of here. You know, I keep saying it, I, was, I said it to, uh, to her today, I think she's a, she's a funky version of Asha. You know, and uh, I think that should be her selling point. In spite of the grand introduction Tolani has had, she needs more than glitz and glamour to retain the attention of the music-loving populace.